Hello everyone, this is Mubin Tariq and welcome back to another interesting video. So today, in this tutorial, we are going to learn that how you can color create your this image in Photoshop. So let's start. Before starting, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification button that you never miss any updates from my channel. First of all, open Photoshop and import your image as I have imported here. Now select the layer and then press Ctrl J to make a copy of this layer. Now simply press Ctrl Shift A to open camera raw. Here we will make some changes. Go to basics and decrease its temperature. Decrease its highlights. We will see this after. Now press OK. I want to hide this layer. Select this one. Click here to open some actions. Let's say you want to apply this text, this action on this. Foreskin retouching. Now let's retouch the skin. So let's speed up the video. By the way, if you want to watch the tutorial that how you can retouch the skin in Adobe Photoshop, then click on the i button to watch that video. Or you can simply check the description of this video to watch that tutorial that how you can retouch your skin in Adobe Photoshop. Now I want to decrease its opacity to about 60%. Yes. Now press Ctrl Shift E to merge these layers. Press Ctrl J. Now select our Spot Healing Brush tool to remove these areas. I want to use mixer brush tool here. Okay. Also use mixer brush tool on the hands or on the arm. Now I, as we have retouched the skin, now press Ctrl Shift E to merge these layers and then press Ctrl J to make a copy of this one layer and now 
simply press control shift a to open camera go to basics decrease its temperature increase exposure and contrast decrease the highlights go to curves <laughs> go to color mixer and then increase the greens in hue now go to saturation increase greens and blues orange and red by going to luminous increase the orange to the white side go to color grading and let's move this a little bit to the orange side yeah it's perfect here for shadows i add this blue color add highlights yes go to go to calibration and we will do some changes here to color grade this Again, I want to go to the color mixer and increase the luminance. Decrease the oranges. Yes, no press. Okay. Now here you can see this that how amazingly it has added our image. This is the before. This one is after. Now I want to click here, go to the color lookup, and when I apply this one, the three, the three strip look. Increase, decrease its opacity and fill selecting the brush tool decrease its opacity to about 60 select the eraser tool opacity to 60 or 50 and erase it from this area erase the effect the skin okay now press ctrl shift e to merge all these layers or press ctrl shift alt e to make a merge layer now i wanna brighten the eyes make its opacity to 100 percent i'm gonna remove this effect from here Here you can see this that how amazingly it has whitened or brightened the eyes. You can also decrease its opacity. Now press Ctrl Shift E to make a merge layer. Ctrl Shift Alt E to make a merge layer. And then press Ctrl J to make a copy of this one. Select these both two layers. Click here. Click here to make a group. And I want to name this as Dodge and Burn. 
there are different techniques to get the dodge and burn look but i wanna tell you the easiest way by the way i will make a detailed video about the dodge and burn in photoshop now i select this one layer the upper layer and then select blending mode and select multiply select this one and then make it to the screen i hide this one layer double click here to open layer style panel and in underlying layers move the slider from black side to the white and then press alt key on your keyboard and click on the slider it will convert the slider into two parts and move the second part or adjust it according to your skin select this one the upper layer and double click here to open the layer style panel this time move the white side slider press alt to convert this or to and now press ok select this group then click here to make a mask and as the mask is selected go to image then select apply image and press ok now you can see this that it has applied the effect on the whole image but we don't want the effect on the whole image so let's say I hide this one with these layers and we remove the extra areas by selecting our eraser tool we remove this effect from the extra areas so that it only affects the skin So yes, I have removed the effect from the whole image. Now the effect is only on the skin. You can see this. Now I want to decrease its opacity to about 60% so that it looks little good. Now I want to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to make a merge layer and then press Ctrl J to make a copy of this one and press Ctrl Shift A to open the camera. This time, click here on the radial filter and make a radial effect here. it will apply the effect only on this side you can if you want to make changes then you can simply decrease the opacity like this now press ctrl shift or select these both layers and press ctrl e to make a merge layer make a merge layer select our the sport healing brush tool and i want to remove this area. sport healing brush tool paint it here so that it will remove this area so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if yes then tell me in the comment section of this video this is the before image and this one is the after after editing this image i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if yes then tell me in the comment section of this video and please like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification button that you never miss any updates on my channel i will see you in my next video goodbye